Hello friends, my name is Megan Armstrong and I am the Minister of Discipleship at Arvada United Methodist Church. As April comes to a close, we are also coming to the end of our month-long focus on creation care and climate justice. And yet, in this moment in which we are reminded to recommit ourselves to the knowledge that this is not work that can be done once a year or for just one month, we have to come back to it day after day this is our work throughout every week of the year. As we seek a healthier and more holistic relationship with the beautiful creation that God has entrusted to each of us. Throughout this past 16 months, we have experienced our COVID realities. I have become more and more aware of our interconnectedness, our relationships, and how deeply impactful they are. But maybe even more than the relationships that we have with those we know so well, the relationships that we have with those we cannot even name. Our connections to the places that we frequent and the people that we see there. Our dependency on those who work at grocery stores, who clean hospitals, who feed our children while they're at school. Our interdependency has been exposed into stark reality as we have walked through this pandemic together and where we have failed to recognize our communal need for one another has been shown in an equally stark light. The pandemic has been a jarring reality which has forced us to see the harder aspects of our need to care for one another And it has opened our hearts to see the value of simple moments like taking a walk with our families, the need to visit and share our love, and the ways that we are not an island, but rather deeply intertwined in relationship with one another. Climate change is an equally serious pandemic, but we are lacking the jarring awareness and the shifts in our behavior that are so necessary. When we think about the ways that we shifted all of the things that we were doing as COVID-19 came about, we don't see that same urgency. And yet the same level of change is needed. We need to remember the call to love our neighbors and see how our actions affect not just those that we know, but those that we will never meet. We need to be renewed in our understanding of our interdependence and shift our actions to represent that care for the whole. We need to lift up once again the general rules that John Wesley laid out that have acted as a guide for us as we have made hard choices about when together and how to maintain the health, safety, and well-being of all in our community. Do no harm do good, stay in love with God. In these three simple rules, we are invited to re-envision our interconnectedness, our interconnectedness with one another and with creation for all of our actions. The pandemic of climate change is getting worse, but we can make a difference. We can put our shared relationships and our global neighborhood before our me-first attitudes. Throughout this past year, we have encountered this time with our weekly devotions as another way to connect and be in relationship, even as we have been socially distanced. As we move into our new worshiping schedule and opportunities this Sunday on May 2nd, we will be stopping our weekly devotions. But we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch our weekly emails to be informed of the special times throughout this next year in which there will be devotions offered. As we go forth from this time, I leave you with this charge, inviting us into a future where we can be the change that we need to see in our world. Creator God, as we move about our homes, our workplaces, and our communities, may your spirit open our eyes anew to the vastness and splendor of your beauty that is all around us. 
May we hear and see and smell and touch your glory evident in all of your creation. Above all, let us see your beauty, even in the brokenness of our brothers and sisters and siblings, all of them created in your image, beloved children of God. And so we go now to love and serve our God as you have called us to. I hope that you all have a wonderful week and that you continue to encounter the beauty of creation each and every day.